to an another interesting topic that's the difference between synchronous clock and asynchronous clock. Before going into the difference, I wanted to say about the clock. Clock is a square wave basically which have two levels, a low level and high level. It is generated using an oscillator. As you can see oscillator in the PLL, so we can generate different types of clock from a single PLL. So, so clock has two characteristics mainly. It has a frequency and phase. As you can know, the frequency is the inverse of the time period. It's the time period from this point to this point. It's repeating. So this is the same. This is time period of a clock. And the phase is used to describe a specific location. As you can see, if you look at this point, where my pen is pointing. So this can be a specific location. So this is a phase and this can be our under phase since it's repeating it's already a part of this so this is a phase so uh, why are we using a clock uh, in the design we have a problem called as a glitch as you can see the a and b are the inputs to and gate this a and b are coming from various different gates and various flops if flops are not used Okay, where is gates and so there is a propagation delay in that gates so it will lead to a different timing of their arrival as you can see A has arrived just slightly behind where B has arrived slightly faster as you can see now the output should be 0 but the output is 1 because A has arrived slightly late and B has arrived slightly ahead of its time so there is a small glitch this one you are seeing this is a glitch it's an unexpected output i don't require glitch in my design because it will cause a lot of problems later so to avoid this we will use a clock which will be the reference where we will use a reference to get the output from the design so let's go into synchronous and asynchronous clocks so synchronous clocks means the clocks are having the same phase and the same source if the clock domain of the two clocks are same then it's a synchronous clock with the same phase as you can see over here the clock 1 and clock 2 are having the same clock source assumption is that the same clock source is being used and clock 1 and clock 2 are in phase as you can see this posage is this posage and this passage is having this passage. So they are in phase, but their time period frequency is varying. Even if the frequency is varying, that's not a problem. But if it, they are not in phase, then that's a problem. Frequency is varying, not a problem. Understand this problem. Frequency varying is not a problem. When they are out of phase, then they are said to be synchronous or asynchronous. And the clock domain, which they belong to. So asynchronous clocks means they have two different phases, different phases and different source. Let us consider this example where clock 3 is having a different phase from clock 2 and clock 1. So and it's from a different clock domain. Let's assume that clock 1 and clock 2 are from a, a clock generator A and clock 3 is from clock generator B. So the phase is a difference over here and the clock source is different over here so this is what the difference between synchronous and asynchronous clock so most of the people will say that synchronous means a single clock asynchronous means uh, two different clocks that's not the correct way the correct way is that they are having the same phase and same source then it's a synchronous clock different phase and different source then it's an asynchronous clock understand this point this point is super important in various fields you are going to work so in digital it's very important and thanks for watching if you like this so small topic and if you want more of this please let me know in the comments and if you want to encourage me or support me you can, what you can do is just subscribe because uh, it takes time to make it on the paper Thanks for watching. Hope we'll meet back in another video.